Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1971 Oldsmobile Cutlass. This is a 442 Tribute. It's got a really cool power plant, but before we go into the details, I want you to be sure to like and subscribe below. Back to this amazing car. So it's a essentially a restored Oldsmobile Cutlass that's been transformed into a 442. It's got a blue printed 450 horsepower, or what was it, 430, 450 torque, uh, four bolt main, 383 stroker. I have the receipts from the purchase. And then they decided to add a little bit of boost to it. So we've got a Vortec V3 supercharger feeding a Demon carburetor. So I'd probably say around 480 horsepower easily, and it sounds unbelievable. You've got an AC com uh, compressor right here. You got your AC Delco um, alternator, power brakes, and power steering. The car is cold natured. It has aluminum heads on it and there is no choke, so you have to let it warm up before you drive it. But once it's warm, this thing runs and drives excellent. They've fitted this with a fiberglass hood to mimic the 442, the W30 style. Extremely nice with releases right here. Your grill insert, both of them look great. This has all been touched up as well. Brand new battery in there. And then it does have an aftermarket stereo, which we will show you. It's got a nice, uh, chrome cover for the cow and then if you as you walk around here take a look at how nice all of it is so here's your vortec v3 supercharger it's a root style supercharger it runs off of your crank pulley and when you start this thing up it's got that amazing line wait till we get on the road and we give it some gas this thing just likes to light up the rear tires i'm going to go ahead and close the hood nice and easy then you lock these in place and we'll walk down the driver's side all the chrome in the front looks great. Um, no major pit, no, it just has a little bit of pitting which would probably come out with the Brillo. All your lights look great. So these are all, have the halos. Let me turn on the lights and let's see if it looks good. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on the camera but at night it's visible. And then that's your headlights and then underneath the uh, emergency brake you push a button that'll light up the uh, high beams. As we go down the side I want you to take note of the paint on the hood is paint not a sticker and on the sides this is the true 442 paint. like that's what you would think of if you thought of a 442 paint is even and it flows you can feel a difference uh, on the level of the paint but that's because there's two layers there you've got a set of boss wheels those are 18 inch wheels they've got a little bit of oxidation from getting cleaned up but you do have disc brakes right behind those all the chrome beauty rings or, or, or the uh, the bright work around the wheels look great I don't see any dents. And the fenders, nice and solid. The door looks great. I see one imperfection right here. But all the lines flow evenly. It's a really, really nice looking car. I'm gonna open up the door for you. Look at how nice that interior is. Door panels look good. There's a little bit of a, this is original. So they painted it and you see a little bit of imperfection here. They did a carbon fiber inlay and you've got new locking mechanisms as well. Your Fisher panel right there looks great and it looks new. And then you've got a billet style steering wheel. And does the horn work? Yep, horn works. Dash has carbon fiber on it as well. And the headliner is in excellent condition. Looks like all the lights inside of here have been upgraded to LED. Another imperfection on this quarter. Extremely solid. I just love the hoop. Let's look at this rear quarter panel. Look how beautiful it is extremely shiny you can see the reflection of the palm trees you got a set of 555s in the rear so these are pretty sticky tires they look a little bit older probably there's some there's some cracking from sitting inside but i don't think that's going to be an issue the wheels have a little bit of uh wear but nothing that's out of the ordinary and the rear quarter looks great there's your light and your new rubber bezel rear bumper shows great um i don't see any pitting Minor, minor, minor imperfections. Let me wipe this. But the reflection's very nice. The trunk, let me go get the key so I can open it up. So there's a couple of receipts that'll come with this car, including the engine and then uh, just minor service parts. Well, I guess this is the last key, always. I don't know why people always put like random keys on the key ring. Take a look at the trunk. 
Got nice rubbers throughout, nice and solid. I love shaking these to make sure there's no rust. There's no rust on this one. You got a set of two kicker, uh, kicker subs. Looks like a uh, large 1000 watt amplifier behind there and then upgraded speakers in the rear. This thing sounds, <laughs> sounds like a concert hall going down the road. Um, all your lights look proper. The wiring harness looks good back here. And underneath the trunk mat, it's nice and solid. Go ahead and close it. We'll walk down the passenger side. 442 emblems in great shape. Passenger side quarter looks great. Paint's even once again. Let me open up the door for you. It's really, really inviting. Small imperfection right here. I'm gonna rate this car a seven out of 10. Sound good? A little bit of pitting on the chrome. Roof line, excellent condition. I don't see any cracking in the normal areas. Little stress fracture right here, nothing crazy. But overall, extremely nice. Uh, bright work around here looks good. A little bit of oxidation on this one piece is probably original. The front passenger side fender is in excellent condition as well and the paint flows evenly. So when you stand back, it looks real good. Let's go ahead and jump inside it and start her up. <laughs> so you can hear the supercharger. Um, it likes to run at 185 degrees or it will shut off. But listen to the cam on this thing. You ready to go for a ride? Come on. We're inside the Cutlass right now. We've got a TikTok tack here. So that's your RPM gauge, and then you've got a clock that's in the center. That's why they call it that. Your speedometer goes to 120, and the mileage on this is 91,768. It is sold as exempt. Your gas gauge is over here. It does operate as it should. We only have five gallons in it, and we are in an angle. And the stereo. Oh my God. Still going bad on me. Let's go for a ride. Saw you last night, but did it. <laughs> and the radio, it's amazing. Pole dancing, I guess. This is a new thing. Let's go for a ride without the radio. You can hear the blower, it's demanding attention telling you, hey, I've got a lot of horsies under the hood and I'm ready to show you what's up. Sounds like one of these speed boats. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn right onto Ravenswood and just drive it regularly and then we'll get to our little test track and test her out. Pretty smooth. Steering is precise. It has uh, tubular control arms. There you go, it's in overdrive right now. Speedometer is obviously off because it has taller gears. We're probably going about 50 miles an hour, so it's off by about 20. A lot of traffic right now. It's almost five o'clock here. What I'll do is I'll turn right here and I'll let you guys see the performance of the, of the Cutlass and you guys can make your decision from there. This is definitely a hot rod because you need to let it warm up before you drive it. But once it's running, you're good to go. So we'll turn right here. Brakes are very far, even, by the way. And I mean, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna roll into it. <laughs> Two big black marks behind us. We'll turn left here and then we'll do a circle and we can test it out better on Ravenswood. So this specific motor is a blueprint motor. So it's, they call it the, uh, it's a stroker motor, 383. They use a 400 block um, and it produces quite a bit of power. They added a blower to it. So obviously that gives you a lot more of a fun factor. What we'll do is we'll go from a dead stop and I'll roll into it. Right now we are completely stop has a 2000 stall. So. Oh my God. Yeah, we can't, I have to let go. It just spins the tires. And then if you get on it, so we're rolling. That's pretty impressive. For, for such a big car, this is, that's modern day speed. 
Brakes are very, very responsive and it stops you straight. We're gonna turn left here and we'll just continue on with the drive. If you have any questions about this particular 442, give us a call, 954-363-2261. We'll get out on this road right here and you can get some uh, outside shots for you and bring her back inside, make a decision.